good morning from Kuching, Sarawak, Malaysia. It's my first day here in Kuching. So this is still Sarawak. If you guys saw my last videos, I was in Miri. Now I am in Kuching, which is actually the capital of Sarawak, which is a part of Malaysia still. A lot of people get confused. They're like, isn't it its own country? It does feel like its own country. It definitely does feel like a sovereign state but it is a region of Malaysia actually it's the largest region of Malaysia Sarawak and this Kuching is the capital of Sarawak it definitely has more city vibes before I was in Miri it definitely had small town like very chill kind of vibe but here you definitely get that big city almost like a KL feeling but over the next few days I'm just gonna be exploring Kuching sorry band is very loud. We'll be exploring Kuching and kind of giving you guys a little tour of this city. If you watch my channel, if you watch my air travels, you know, I got to get my coffee, got to get my breakfast. So we're going to go try to find a good breakfast coffee place and then we'll make our way about the city. Let's go. So right behind me guys is the biggest, one of the biggest attractions here in Kuching known as the Sarawak River. You can take a cruise if you want. They have different boats, little boats you can take along the river, different cruises. I haven't done it yet myself, but maybe later on today I will take one. Uh, I'm excited to just be here in the city and explore it. Uh, Kuching itself is actually known as the Cat City and I have no idea why. But we'll try to find out why. I did hear it's called the Cat City. Maybe it has something to do with that cat in the Chinese culture. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe there's a lot of cats. So far, from first impressions, there's garbage cans everywhere. People keep the city very clean. Um, that's what I noticed about Sarawak as well, Miri as well, very clean. And of course, when I was in Brunei, very clean. This whole region of Borneo definitely just oozes cleanliness. So it's quite nice, very nice feeling to be here. But I'm just taking a walk along this river and it's a very, very peaceful day here. It's a, it's a Monday actually, but still you can hear so peaceful something really nice about these places that just don't have constant chaos and honking and horning even though this is a big city it's very nice hello sir hi how are you i have a question for you are you from Saro? are you from uh, kuching why is kuching called the cat city what's the meaning of that because uh around here is so many cats and so many cat monuments oh cat monuments ah oh, okay okay like the the one with the hand yeah ah where is the cat monument just up there oh just up there okay yeah. i'll go check it out what what do you think is special that people should see in in kuching mm, uh this waterfront at night waterfront yeah okay it's beautiful uh the bridge, bridge. Yeah. ah okay okay and where is there like many coffee shops and restaurants where can you find uh, this way? Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you so much. What's your name? Kamal? Uh, Kamal. Thank you so much, my friend. Have a good day. All right. So you heard the gentleman. The cat city. I guess there is a lot of cats. My prediction was right. Hello, sir. Yes. Hi. Good. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Are you from uh, Kuching? Yeah. Ah, this is my first day in Kuching. Oh, good. Yeah. From where? I'm from US. US, yeah, yeah. I'm making a video about Kuching. Kuching. Yeah, yeah. What's what's special to you? Are you from originally from Kuching? No, I'm from Johor Bahru. From where? Johor Bahru. Johor Bahru. Ah. Twenty years. Old. Twenty years. Long time. Uh, what do you do? What what is your you you work here in in Kuching or? Maybe my nieces and son is here. Was born here. Were born here. Ah. You, from US. Yeah. Then you speak British English? Well, uh, no, 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 I speak US. <laughs> you sing I sound like a British? Oh, yeah. oh thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know. I <laughs> US one, the slang not easy to understand. No, I think US English is easier to understand than British. Easy to understand? Yeah, yeah. Sure? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Maybe that's because I'm from America, so oh, I don't know. <laughs> you come here for what? For making a video about, about Kuching. Yeah, I want to make I make YouTube videos. See, you better go to this, uh, go to museum. There museum? You walk this way? Ah, see. okay. I go you check can, it out. Yes. What yes, do you, What is special to you about Kuching? We, we put it this way. Uh, maybe the place uh, is very 
Retired people. Retired people. Uh, it's so peaceful. Yeah. Very peaceful. Very nice. The population you see here a bit less. Uh, and the competition, uh, yeah. not like KL. Yeah, not like KL or Bangkok. Those yeah, cities are too crazy. Are right. yeah, yeah. Are right. Thank you so much. What's your name, brother? <laughs> I'm Heng. Huh? Hey. H-E-N-G Hang. Hang. Ah, my okay. name is Meyer. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice thank you so much. You. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Hank. Have a good day. All right. So, nice old man. Yeah, so far people are really nice here, you know. What I learned about the world is most places, if you approach people with respect and kindness, they will treat you with the same. So, it's, uh, it's just a mutual respect thing. You have to just treat people with kindness and respect. So far, I'm also noticing the city is very colorful, like artwork everywhere, just a very colorful city. Just colors, different colors everywhere you can see. See the temples, the flags, the artwork, the monuments, the bridges, the boats, full of color. Kuching is also known for their rainforests and nature, so if you're into that, which I'm not really, but if you're into that, you can come here and explore the nature as well. You know, and as I walk down these tiny streets with all these colors, just old shops. Well, I don't think the shops are old, but the aesthetic of them is very old. It makes me feel like I'm in another time, literally. If these cars weren't here, if there were some horses riding down the street, I would literally feel like I've entered another time. And I love that feeling. I love the feeling of being in like a time capsule and just kind of warping to another time that is a unique feeling that you only get in certain places i see a lot of coffee places but nothing that looks too interesting yet so once i see something i'm gonna i'm gonna stop but i'm just trying to show you guys as i walk along but so quiet you can hear the pin drop Hmm, what's this? This is interesting. Huh, I love the artwork all along the walls. But it is very hot, guys. I'm sweating already. Whew. Okay, guys. I finally found a coffee place that I'm going to stop in. It's called Ya Coffee Company. And they only have coffee. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. You guys have coffee, right? Yep. Um, okay. Do you accept card or only cash? Uh, cash and uh, and scan. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Can I have a uh, one iced Americano? Okay. With a little bit of a uh, milk and sugar. Okay. Yeah. Please. I separate. What's that? I separate the milk for you. Uh, you can put it in. No problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah just a little bit. Okay. Right. Thank you. And that's it. Thank you. Alright guys, so finally, cool little sh coffee shop, as you can see, the vibe, the aesthetic is very nice, you can sit outside if you want, and also, it's right here in this tiny street that I was walking, so it has like a very cool vibe, also I have to say, Kuching definitely gives me uh, some like Hanoi, Vietnam vibes, for sure, I definitely feel that kind of vibe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just going based off my experience. Here it is guys, first coffee in Kuching. Hopefully it's a good one, cheers. Not bad, definitely very strong. You can taste the bean for sure. Um, 12 ringgit for a coffee, that's like a little less than $3 for a coffee. So one thing I noticed here in Kuching, things are a little bit more expensive uh, than in Miri, obviously because it's the capital city, so it makes sense. Things are usually more expensive in capital cities, so it um, it only it's only right. But good coffee for sure. Not bad. This is the name of the coffee place. So if you're ever here in Kuching, come stop by to Ia Coffee Company. So, just got done with my coffee and just wanted to walk past this temple. People are in here making their worships. There's a lot of ash flying in the air because people are lighting these incense. So, a lot of ash flying in the air, but so beautiful. 
I'm not gonna go inside because I don't wanna you know, disrespect people, but you can see how beautiful it is, man. I love walking by temples, and especially at night. Temples are so beautiful at night. That's one thing about Asia that I, I really miss when I'm not here is just walking by temples at night. All right, so really, really liking the vibe of this city so far, guys. It's super, super nice. It's like if you took Hanoi, mixed it with a little bit of Hong Kong, and took away all the craziness and traffic and chaos, that would be Kuching. I don't know if I'm describing that right, but it literally is just such a cool vibe, man. And as I'm going through more and more, I'm noticing it has a very, very old feeling here, like very old feeling because of the architecture. This is like Chinatown, I guess you can call it. Now I want to find something to eat because I'm still hungry. I just had a coffee, but mostly like industrial kind of places here. A dressmaking house. That's interesting. Hello. What? Yeah, so this is like, they call it the Chinatown and it definitely feels like a, like a Chinatown for sure. Hello guys, how are you? Hi guys. Uh, hey, hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> are you guys students here? Yeah. Uh, you guys are from from uh, Kuching? Yeah. Uh, what, what 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 do you what what grade are you guys in? Uh, What's class? Uh, 15. 15 years old. Hello, bro. 15? 15. Ah, okay. And what's special about Kuching? I think there's a lot. Huh? There's a lot of places to visit here. Yeah. History. history. Where can I see some history? At the museum. Oh, this way. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> bye bye. Have a good day. So apparently, there's some history here. I have to go this way, though. I don't know where. We'll go. I don't usually show museums on video because I think they're quite boring. Um, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just feel like you guys wouldn't want to see a museum in a video, you know. I feel like that's the type of stuff you would Google if you want to Google it. I never, I, I think I shot a film in a museum one time and people didn't even care for it. Or I did it like twice. Nobody cared for it. It's quite boring, so. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Shout out to the kids, man. Shout out to the youths. Yo. <laughs> All right, guys, so now I am in close to a cultural and historical hub of Kuching. I just have to cross the street. So this area is like a walkable park slash over there. If you see that interesting looking building, that's the Borneo Cultural Museum. I don't know if I'm going to go inside because, as I said, I don't like to film inside of museums. I think it's a very boring, mundane way of filming. Uh, it's like a mall, parks and mall, big. But this is a very walkable city as well, guys. Um, the same with Miri. So far here in Sarawak, it seems that most of the cities, you can just walk. It's small cities, uh, most things are accessible. Now, obviously, if you want to go to some of the attractions a little bit outside of the city, you can take a grab or whatever, but you know, that's on you. But this is nice, man. I love the nature within the city. You know, it's like, um, some cities, you don't see any greenery and it's like a concrete jungle. But here, it's a nice mixture of some green and some nature uh, and some concrete, of course. It's a nice hotel. So one thing I'm noticing about this city is there are literally garbage cans everywhere for you to throw your garbage. And when people wonder, why is the city so dirty? Why is it not clean? Most of the cities that I've been to that have garbage all over the place, it's usually because they don't put garbage cans. 
and I always wonder it's like just throw a few garbage cans around I mean how much does it honestly cost the government to do that it really does make a difference man because when you don't see a garbage can for like 10 kilometers obviously you're like I'm just gonna throw it on the ground but when you see garbage can every so often you wait till you see a garbage can you throw it away so all the cities out there who don't have accessibility to like trash and sanitation I think that makes a big difference there's nothing like exploring a city for the first time that is the feeling that I live for and that's why I started doing this vlogging in the first place that high that I get from the first walk around and the first exploration of a city there's really no other feeling like it oh this is like a food court very nice building too old architecture so this is a Gurdwara which is a Sikh temple for people who practice the Sikh religion we have a mosque over there I saw a temple before which you guys saw and I saw a church along the way all within one kilometer which really shows you the diversity in the city and that's always an amazing thing I love seeing diversity and here we are approaching this mosque wow that is beautiful like Taj Mahal vibes for sure all right so I'm not gonna go inside but I just want to show you guys how it looks from the outside it's huge too it's pretty big so there is a Masjid Jamek in KL if you watch I have a video there as well when I went to Malaysia last year but this is the Kuching Masjid Jamek and it's a uh, very very nice <laughs> beautiful it's all written in Arabic hello brother assalamualaikum how are you what's the name of this masjid because I've been trying to ask people somebody told me it's Masjid Jamek uh, that's, no, that's the, the one in KL no? <laughs> uh, the Masjid Jamek one is on um, at the center uh, beside the Pustaka one. Uh, what's the name of this one this I don't want to because um, I'm making a video I want to make sure I have the right name uh, we call we call this masjid is the Masjid Bahagian. Bahagian. Yeah. And is that the year it was built? Um, 19, yeah. 19? Yeah, I think I think so. Ah, 1966. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from Kuching. You're from Kuching, and yeah. you don't know? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Because I'm I, not, uh, I also don't know my hometown. <laughs> you don't. We don't learn our own home. You know. Yeah. So what what do you what do you think is special about Kuching? Because I'm making a video. I want to know. I want to. Oh. Why should people come to Kuching? I think why should people come to Kuching I think um, I think because people here are friendly that's true yeah I noticed that yeah. people are very nice yeah. everybody smiles they're kind yeah, yeah. there's so many culture here very diverse Borneo yeah. culture museum yeah 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 also it's very diverse I saw I took a walk right yeah. I saw a church I yeah. saw a temple I saw a mosque yeah. I saw everything so you can see it's quite diverse yeah yeah what's your name brother Faisal. Faisal, Meyer. Meyer. Nice to meet you, brother. Yeah, nice to meet you. Alaikum. Alaikum salam. So, beautiful, beautiful mosque here. I'm not going to go inside because I'm wearing shorts, but very, very beautiful, guys, as you can see. There's another masjid here. Yeah? Um, if you go to the waterfront, yeah. there's a, uh, we call it a uh, masjid that, um, the floating masjid. The floating mosque. Yeah, the uh, floating mosque. Maybe I'll get a chance to check that yeah. out also. Thank you, Faisal. <laughs> yeah. Assalamu alaikum, brother. So what's really interesting also is there's the cemetery. This is the first time I've ever seen. There's a, literally a cemetery right in front of the mosque. It's kind of interesting, but also a little bit creepy. Kind of eerie, to be honest. But beautiful mosque, man. Definitely come check this out if you're here in Kuching. But yeah, I can agree with Fessel when he says that the people are kind here. So far, that's what I've been experiencing. People are very nice, open to talk, have conversation, and um, it's quite nice. Look at these, these are like the old houses. I bet this is how the city looked before it was modernized. These kind of old kampong kind of houses. These people look like they're like not giving up their homes, you know? You always see a few of these old homes and I think it's like people who are like just holding on for dear life. Like, no, you're not gonna take my house. In the middle of this 
huge metropolis. You just see these old houses. It's quite nice though. Power to the people, man. I hope they never give it up. It's their land. Hello. Now guys, I'm super hungry and I'm looking for a place to get some food and I have not found something yet, but I want to get something like local food, you know, not not one of these, uh, what do you call it, like rest, fancy restaurants, you know, do something local, street food type of vibe, you know. Yeah, if y'all watch my videos, you know, I love getting street food, so but I'm not seeing anything too promising. But anywho, let's keep going. Man, I am sweating, guys. I don't know if you can tell. I'm literally soaked from sweat. It's humid. One thing about Southeast Asia, most places, most of the year, if you go outside during the day, it is very hot. But if you like the warm weather, this is right down your alley. If you're someone who hates the warm weather, it's gonna take time to get used to it. This looks interesting. This looks like they have some food here. Some kind of like local street food. Look at this, you got the backdrop of these huge buildings and then this small little place here. Right across from the masjid. And there's different foods that we're gonna try something. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. You have food? This one? Ah, oh, okay. Nasi Kampo. Nasi? Nasi Kampo. Kampo? Ah. Nasi Kampo. Nasi Kampo. Sarawak? 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 Nasi Kampo. I am have? I am sudah finished. Abis. So finish. I am goreng habis. I am habis. Yeah? I am finished. Habis yo kak. Ikan? Ikan ada ikan goreng. Okay. Can I have one? Ah. Ikan? Mau? Yeah. Makan. Makan sini. Okay. <laughs> Please. Please. Kalau pagi tadi jam sebelas. She's so sweet. Ah. Ah. Jam sepuluh. Thank Banyak. You. Uh, uh, nasi. Uh, you tell me. I don't okay. know. <laughs> Mana mau? Uh, Ini ikan. Uh, this one. Okay. Some cabbage. Where are you oh. from? I'm from America. America. Yeah. Yeah. What do you recommend trying? Okay. Some fish. It's very nice. It's very nice. Yes. It's local food, huh? Yes. It's oh, local food. Some fish. Okay. Some ikan, 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 yeah. ikan, ikan, ikan. Um, what's this? Oh, tempe. 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 Yes. Uh, ikan. Ikan. Ah, uh, oh, no, 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 this no, one. No, no, no. Small, small. Oh, okay. Dikit, dikit. Sedikit. Yeah, sedikit. Sambal pedas. Ah, dik, sedikit. Sedikit. <laughs> okay. Sini. Berapa? This one. Hmm. Berapa? Lapan. Huh? Lapan ringgit. Lapan. What's Lapan the ringgit. Eight ringgit. Eight ringgit. Ah, okay. I makan sini, okay? Okay. Okay. Makan <laughs> sini. Spoon, spoon. Ah, spoon, spoon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's so Sudu. sweet. Thank you. What's okay. your business? This one, Bibik. Bibik. Ah, Bibik. <laughs> Bibik. 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 Ah, okay, okay. Bibik. Ah, bukan bibik. Okay, makan sini. Minum, minum. Minum. Ah. Uh, air? Air? Ya. Yeah. Air apa? Air normal. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> air, uh, water, just normal water. Huh? Like, air. yeah. How do you say water? Air, right? Air? Air, air. Ya, air. Air. Kepen. Mau, kepen. I don't know. Sorry. Air semanti. <laughs> Lemon tea, no, just air. Air, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so this is like some OG, real Sarawak Malaysian food, you know? That's what I wanted and that's what I got. We got some fish, some some crispy grilled fish. Ah, oh, sorry, uh, fried fish. Thank you. And we have some, I don't know what this is. It's like a, kind of like a biscuit made of, I think, peanuts and some other things. 
some cabbage. This one is like a fish curry, and then of course some nasi, some rice. So let's try this out. Here we go. I'm gonna start with the fish, the grilled, uh, the fried fish, the deep fried fish. Look at that. Okay. You don't have to worry about bones. You can eat the bones. Take it with some rice. By the way, guys, this costs eight ringgit, which is literally less than two dollars. Mm. And this right here is known as sambal. It's very spicy, but not for me because I love spice. Oh, that's hitting the spot. That fish is so good. And you saw the lady so sweet. She's so kind. One thing about Muslim people is, I don't know, Muslim people get a bad rep, but in my experience, and I'm not just saying this because I am Muslim, they're the most kind and welcoming people. Mm -hmm. They literally are so sweet. You saw how nice she was to me. I didn't understand what she was saying. So sweet. The cabbage is really delicious. This is like a homemade meal. I feel like I'm eating like at my friend's, at my Malaysian friend's house, you know? Mm. Ikan is fish in Malaysian. That's why I was asking her. Ikan. Really good. Oh man, everything here is good. I am in heaven. Guys, when you come to a country, try the local foods. Don't go to McDonald's or any franchises. Come, eat the local foods. It's the best way to experience the country. Guys, meal done. That was amazing. So, so delicious, man. Spicy too. The sambal is very spicy, but very, very delicious. Makasi. Sadap. Very sadap. Ah, very good. Say up, Nama. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, thank you, Maybe. Okay. How much? The perapa. Ah, next time. Next time. I come next time. Ah. I am. Daging. Ah. What time? What time? Ah, pagi, pagi, pagi is. Jam sepuluh. Pagi is night, I think. Sepuluh. Ah, sepuluh. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. Okay, pagi is morning. Okay, thank you. Uh, eight, eight ringgit, no? Laban. Laban. Ah, eight. Laban is eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Terima kasih. Sama sama. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you guys. Enjoy your food. <laughs> bye bye. <coughs> man that was good that was delicious guys there it is man that is my first impressions of Kuching you guys saw it right in front of your eyes there's this is raw content guys I don't plan any of this as you can see I just go along go with the flow and that's how the best experiences are created with that being said guys I'm gonna wrap this video up remember continue to oh god I'm so full continue to learn continue to grow and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone and don't forget to like, subscribe, more Kuching videos coming, more Malaysia videos, more fun travel adventures. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.